While holding the FN key, press every function key. Example, press FN and F6 and check if that re-enables your touchpad. If that didn't work, first open start and type CMD. Press enter to open command prompt. Type devmgmt.msc and then press enter. Press your tab key after the window opens. Go down to mice and other pointing devices. Press the right arrow key to expand it. Select your mouse and then press enter. Press the tab key until the general tab is highlighted. Press the right arrow key to select the driver tab. Press the tab key to select driver details. Go down to update driver. Press enter. Press enter to search automatically for updated driver software. If that didn't work. Press enter to select update driver. Press enter to select browse my computer for driver software. Press enter to open it. Press tab to select your drivers. Press enter. Now your drivers should be installed. If that didn't work, go down to uninstall device. Press enter to select uninstall device. Press enter again to uninstall it. Press enter to restart. Now your problem should be fixed. If that didn't work. First press the start key to open the start menu. Now type reg edit. Press the enter key to open reg edit. Press your left arrow to select yes and then press enter. With your arrow keys select, H key local machine. Press the right arrow key to expand the folder. Go down to software using your arrow keys. Press the right arrow key to expand the folder. Look for the Microsoft folder and press the right arrow key to expand it. Go down to Windows folder and press the right arrow key to expand it. Go down to current version and press the right arrow key to expand it. Go to the Policies folder and press the right arrow key to expand it.
Go down to the system folder and then press the tab key to access the options at the right. Select enable cursor suppression and then press enter. Change the value from 1 to 0. Press enter to apply the changes. Press the start key to open the start menu. Press the tab key to select these lines. Go down to the power button and then press enter. Select restart and then press enter. Now your problem should be fixed. If that didn't work, 